I think what I'm really drawn to about stop motion is the tactileness of it. It really does feel like magic. Stop motion in particular is like probably the most like, you know, physically arduous form of animation. The multiplane is an old filmmaking tool that was developed by Walt Disney and for me it's a lot of inspiration from side-scrolling video games and it works especially well for journey stories. It's a big setup. It's one of the biggest um, down shooters I've ever worked on. And it's lit with, uh, the way Sean likes to light is with a lot of like Ikea desk lamps with incandescent light. And it gets the warmth and the glow and the, um, this personal, very, very kind of intimate feel. So you have to be very careful with where you put your lights and how much light you're putting onto it because the other thing is if you light it too much, you can see that it's paper. I've put a lot of time and, and, and research and experimentation into like how dark and moody can we keep it while still seeing what's happening. I was hunched over working on these like little small pieces with like a little lamp, but it was still cool because I got to see like all of the beautiful things that were happening. Just like seeing all of those amazing backgrounds, like rewatch the video and just look at the backgrounds the whole time because they are so flipping cool. Character design is something that's like pretty new for me. Like I think my focus has been so much on environment and landscape and stuff. So in integrating kind of smaller characters within landscapes. So it was like scary to design something that's gonna be so, you know, front to center. Even just the smallest thing, like the length of the beak sometimes like totally changed the feeling of this character, you know? So it's like you just do this small little tweak and suddenly it feels uh, like barely like a hawk anymore or something, you know? <laughs> I always think about visuals when I'm working on music or even listening to music. I feel like um, I'm being taken somewhere by the, 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 what the music is doing or what it's conveying or, you know, what ideas are encoded in the music. Featherweight, which, you know, has a kind of lush, delicate, kind of weightless feeling. Um, that would be the perfect song for a, a good old fashioned John Pecknold animation epic, you know. When I brought it in and started listening to the stems, I kind of was able to see the song in a new way. Listening to the texture and tone uh, of these individual tracks and actually hearing the layers that went into the song was a really nice exercise for me to kind of think about the layers of the pictures and the layers of the video and the story that were going on top of that. It was kind of a challenge just like working with Sean Lewis's uh, digital art just in order to get an accurate print that reflected all of the subtleties that he was able to to work into the into the art that he made. Um, a lot of beautiful like dark tones that uh, we really wanted to make sure that were showing up in the camera on the print. It takes it out of the team to make something like that in a short stretch, but the results are, are really, really beautiful. I think that that was really powerful for me to see Featherweight for the first time when, when John finally sent it and just have the visuals be harmonizing so well with the with the music and have it be kind of culminatory and to get to see that was really powerful for me.
I mean, there was something really poetic about his time underwater and how he's kind of reflecting on fighting for uh, fighting for his life in a lot of ways. And I think we all go through these journeys where we feel like we're broken, but we keep pushing forward. We know we can get through it, even if it's very, very hard. When he's at the point where he's the most exhausted and he's almost given up is when he allows someone else to help him so that he can continue on. A lot of us kind of, and especially this last year, have been just so alone and trying to get through so much stuff by ourselves. And we really need to, in, in some ways, it, it's good to be open to the help of others because we can't do it by ourselves.